In today's video, let's have a look at how you can upload and use any kind of custom font on your landing pages or inside your content using Thrive Architect. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and many of you have asked us to add a feature to add more fonts into the Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress. Up until now, we have had many font choices already. We have an integration with Google Fonts where you can choose from hundreds of fonts that are freely available on the web. And you can also choose system fonts, which are fonts where you don't have to load any external files. They are very quick to load and basically work everywhere, but the choice is a bit limited. Well, now there is another option. You can now upload and use custom font files. And that means you can create some interesting and stylish layouts. This is often especially useful for title fonts that may be very fancy and decorative and the kind of thing you might not find on Google fonts. And here are some examples. So all of these fonts we just looked at are actual fonts. That means if I go here, I can select this text, right? This is actual text on the screen. This isn't a graphic. And the advantage of this is that you can have something very decorative like this, but it's still actual text on your page. And that means it is search engine readable. And it, you know, it counts as text in terms of SEO as well. The way we've made fonts like these available for you is by integrating with a plugin called custom fonts. So let me show you how you can find it and install it. In your WordPress dashboard, you can go to your plugins and in plugins, click on add new. And the one we're looking for is the one that's literally called custom fonts. It has this orange icon. And as you can see, I've already activated it, but you can hit this button here to install it and activate it. Once you've done that, you can go to appearance and you'll see that there is a new menu item called custom fonts. And when we click on that, we get into the custom fonts interface. You can see that I've already added some of these example fonts I was just showing you before. And let me quickly show you how to add a new one. I have downloaded a font file right here. And as you can see, this font is called Harmony and we have it in two different formats, OTF and TTF. And so what I'll do is I'll name this Harmony. This is my font name. And then I will look for OTF. Okay, we don't have that, but then we have TTF. We have that here. So let's upload that. This opens my WordPress media manager where I can upload the font like I would an image and then select it. Now, if you do have more than one of these supported formats, you can upload all of them for the same font that that will improve compatibility somewhat. But in this case, I only have one. So I will click on add new font. And then you can see it has been added to the list here. Now let me go into the editor and I will reload this page. So when you add a new font and your editor is already open, you'll want to reload it to, to get the new fonts into the list. So here, whenever you select a text element in your font settings, as usual, you'll see the usual settings and you'll see a new option called custom fonts plugin. So in your dropdown, we will automatically detect when the custom fonts plugin is active and we'll make a custom fonts plugin available. And then in the second drop down, you'll see all of the fonts that you've installed in this plugin. So here's the new one I just created. And well, as you can see, it's quite similar to the previous one. Um, and you can see, I can switch between these different fonts here that I have installed. And for each font we can, do all of the usual stuff. We can change the size, we can change the color, we can apply shadows and so on. One thing to note is that many of these fonts will not have a lot of different styles available. So they might look weird, for example, if you make them bold and they might not support all of the characters, but that is simply how it works. Once you have the custom fonts plugin installed and at least one font uploaded, you'll be able to apply that font to any text element that you see in Thrive Architect. Now, if you're wondering where to get fonts like this, Two good sources are dafont.com and Font Squirrel. An important note when choosing free custom fonts is that you should always take a look at the licensing. So for example, here on Dafont, if I choose any one of these fonts, you usually have a note here about the licensing. And very often the fonts are free to use for non-commercial purposes. But if you have a business website, then you will have to buy a license of some sort. 
Also take note of the supported font formats here. So if you purchase a custom font or a premium font, make sure that you get at least one of these formats, at least one of these file types so that you can actually upload it to your website using this plugin. All right, so that is how you can start using any custom font for any kind of text element in Thrive Architect. Let us know what you think of this new feature by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.